Ron, are you okay? Where's the dog? Hurry, it's a trap. He's the dog. He's an animagus. If you want to kill Harry, then you have to kill us too. No, only one will die tonight. And it will be you! Are you going to kill me, Harry? You killed my parents. They won't deny it. But if you knew the whole story... The whole story? You betrayed him to Voldemort. That's all I need to know. Expelliarmus! Well, well, Sirius. Looking rather ragged, aren't we? Finally, the flesh reflects the madness within. Well, you would know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Ramus? I found him, Ramus. I found him. I understand. Let's kill him! Oh! I trusted you! And all this time, you were his friend! You helped him get into the castle! He wants you dead, Harry! And he. He's a werewolf! Not at all up to your usual standards, Hermione. Only one out of three, I'm afraid. I have not been helping Sirius to get into the castle, and I certainly don't want Harry dead. But I will not deny that I am a werewolf. How long have you known? Since Professor Snape's essay. <laughs> He'll be delighted. You truly are the brightest witch of your age, I've ever- Enough met. talk, Ramus! Come on, let's kill him! Wait, Sirius! I did my waiting! Twelve years of it, in Azkaban! Very well. Kill him. But wait one more minute. Harry has the right to know why. I know why. You betrayed my parents. You're the reason they're dead. No, Harry. It wasn't him. Somebody did betray your parents. But it was somebody who, until quite recently, I believed to be dead. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. And he's in this room. Come on. Come on, Peter. Come on. Come on and play! Experience. Ah, vengeance is sweet. I hope I'd be the one to catch you. Severus? I told Dumbledore you were helping an old friend into the castle, and now here is proof. Brilliant, Snape. Once again, you put your keen and penetrating mind to the task, and as usual, come to the wrong conclusion. Now, if you'll excuse us, Remus and I have some unfinished business to attend to. <gasps> Give me a reason. I beg you. Severus, don't be a fool. You can't help it. It's habit by now. Sirius, be quiet! Shut the hell up, Remus! Just look at you two quarreling like an old married couple. Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set? I could do it, you know. But why deny the Dementors? They're so longing to see you. Do I detect a flicker of fear? Oh, yes. A Dementor's kiss. One can only imagine what that must be like to endure. It is said to be almost unbearable to witness, but I'll do my best. After you. Severus, please. Expelliarmus! You really shouldn't have done that. You should have left him to me. We've attacked a teacher! We've attacked a teacher! I'm still not saying I believe you. Now tell me about Peter Pettigrew. He was at school with us. We thought he was our friend. No. Pettigrew's dead. He killed him. I thought so too. Until I saw him on the map earlier at Hagrid's. The map was lying. The map never lies. How could you know about that? Because we made it. In fact, yes. That's where it all started. The Marauders. The Shrieking Shack was never haunted. The screams and howls the villagers heard were made by me. That's the beginning of everything. None of this could have happened if I hadn't been bitten. I was a very small boy when I received the bite. My parents tried everything, but in those days there was no cure. Before the Wolfsbane potion was discovered, I became a fully-fledged monster once a month. 
it seemed impossible for me to come to Hogwarts. But Dumbledore became headmaster. He said as long as we took certain precautions, there was no reason for me not to go to Hogwarts. I told you ages ago that the Whomping Willow was planted the year I came to Hogwarts. The truth is, it was planted because I came to Hogwarts. Once a month, I was smuggled into here to transform. Hurry up, Ramus! Okay, Sirius, but you have to help me. I, I only know the beginning. Transformations aside, I was happier than ever. I had friends. Three great friends. Sirius Black, Peter Pettigrew, and, of course, your father, Harry. James Potter. My three friends could hardly fail to notice that I disappeared every once in a while and ended by discovering my secret. Instead of deserting me, they did something for me that would make my transformations not only bearable, but the best times of my life. They became Animagi. But how did that help you? They couldn't keep me company as humans. So they kept me company as animals. But what has it got to do with Pettigrew? Everything! Thirteen years ago when that son of a bitch faked his death and escaped. But he's alive, and he's right there! Me? He's mental! Not you! You're rat! Scabbers has been in my family for over- Twelve years! Curiously long life for a common garden rat. He's missing a toe, isn't he? So what? All they have ever found of Pettigrew His finger! The freaking coward cut it off so everyone would think he was dead. And then he transformed into a rat! Show me. <coughs> Scabbers! <coughs> what are you gonna do to him? Leave Give him it to him, Ron. Scabbers! <coughs> no! Scabbers, <coughs> stop! <coughs> Leave him alone, Scabbers! <laughs> <laughs> Remus? Sirius? My old friends. <laughs> Harry, look at you! You look so much like your father. Like James, we were the best of friends. How dare you speak to Harry! How dare you talk about James in front of him! You sold James and Lily to Voldemort! Didn't you? I didn't mean to. You have no idea. The Dark Lord, the weapons he possesses. Just think of it, Sirius. What would you have done? What would you have done? I would have died! I would have died rather than betray my friends! Harry, your father, James, he wouldn't have wanted me dead. He would have spared me. He would have shown me mercy. You should have realized, Peter, that if Voldemort didn't kill you, then we would! Together! No! Harry, this man... I know. I know what he is. We were going to take him back to the castle. Bless you, boy! Bless you! Get off! I said we would take you to the castle. After that, the Dementors can have you. <laughs>